Uh, my name is Sarah Gambito. I'm Director of Creative Writing here at Fordham University, and uh, we are here at the seventh annual Kundiman Asian American Poetry Retreat. This is our first year here at Fordham University, and we're so, we're so thrilled to be here. Um, and essentially, this retreat is the only uh, retreat which mentors Asian American poets, um, and we're thrilled to be having our first reading here at Lincoln Center. Welcome to the 7th Annual Kundimon uh, Retreat Reading. Um, give yourselves a round of applause for coming out the poetry. This week and tonight, um, because of the generosity of Fordham University, New York City is the new home of Kundimon. Yay! It's really great to be here. This is my second time at Kundimon. Um, what can I say? I just hope they invite me back. <laughs> um, I'm going to read a, from um, a novel I've been working on, um, and it's called Our Feelings Were Made by Hand. Um, and I often read the paper, um, and then I loosely rewrite things and pretend as if they happened to me, and I also just read the paper, and I insert photos. Um, and since it's sort of about growing up Asian in Ohio, um, I go to the flea market and look for photos, and then I stick them in to prove that it all happened. Um, but of course, it's very hard to find pictures of Asians at the flea market, so... Poetry is but the insertion of breath into language. Many times in my life, I have forgotten how to breathe. But poetry keeps finding me in my sleep, reminding me in this body of mine, between the organs, there is space. And this is a poem from my grandfather, and it's um, a poem I've been sort of trying to write for many, 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 many years. Anyway, it's called The Orchard. Even in the dream he's old, returning from his shed with a bucket of grubs picked off the roses, Dead already 20 years, in my dream, he moves steadily enough through the back field of landscape clear to the power lines that march the length of Beacon Hill. My grandfather tended his apple, or apple orchard there, then set to making rows for sweet pea vines and tomatoes, though his wife complained of this cultivated Eden, worrying it looked too country to the neighbors. In the winter, my grandfather ordered seeds from a company out west, and all summer and part way through fall sprayed the fruit with a thick mist the catalogs recommended until, years later, small, berry-sized tumors grew in his pancreas and his wife's breasts. I have two sisters named Faith and Charity. My name is Reggie. <laughs> This is fantastic, um, being a, a poet and bringing uh, sort of my experience to younger Asian poets because when I was starting, um, I had no Asian American mentors and for me the last three days has really been invigorating and I also feel connected and I think, I think we're in a point where we're moving intergenerationally um, as artists and so it's really exciting and I feel like the world is much smaller. So funny, another world. This is how we, we talk about ourselves. Kundimon.org. Um, and uh, there's still some reception um, out there, and what a beautiful night for poetry. Mm. Woo!